There's a new product on the market that we are proud to introduce you to. Um, Dr. Aline D'Alessio is a pediatric dentist in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. She works at the Children's Hospital there. And she created this product to help parents, a tool for parents to help their child wean from the binky. It's one of a kind, it's the first like this on the market and it's just recently released. We're very excited though to pass this along to families as a solution to help them wean their child from the binky. In the past, my advice would be go cold turkey, just take, take it away, get rid of all the binkies in the house and um, just kind of suffer through a few sleepless nights and a few tantrums, but you'll get over the hump and be okay with your child. Well, this um, system called the Lily Method is a way to transition your child off the binky because there is a risk if you take that binky away just all at once with no transitional period, the child, if they really want to continue to suck on something, they might start sucking on their thumb. And pediatric dentists really don't like to see that because, of course, you can't take their thumb away. So it's just much harder to get them away from thumb sucking. So the Lily method just begins, um, the first binky that you give the child has a hole in the nipple. So they don't get that satisfaction of sucking, it has a hole so they're not able to get quite a good seal on the nipple of the binky to get that satisfying suck that they're used to. But typically because it's the only thing that they have, they will accept it and use it. And then um, every two days you switch to the next binky and the hole in the, in the nipple of the binky gets bigger and the length of the actual nipple gets shorter. So there's less and less for them to latch onto to suck. Um, I talked to Dr. D'Alessio a few days ago and she told me in her research in the um, creation of this product, she saw kids giving up the binky within two to 10 days. Not all children even made it to the fifth binky. Some stopped sucking on the binky at um, the fourth stage. And I asked her if the child remained attached to the fifth pacifier, was there any danger in allowing them to keep it? And she said no. She said the um, nipple on the fifth binky is so short, the only way they could really hold it in their mouth would be to purse their lips around it or hold it with their teeth. So they're not, um, the roof of their mouth and their teeth isn't, gonna, they aren't gonna be receiving any of that pressure that um, has detrimental effects on their alignment of their teeth and the shape of their mouth. So there is no harm in it, but she said all the children she tested the product on you know, lost interest after the fifth binky and were easily able to give it up. So we're excited to have a solution for parents on the market um, to help them transition their child off the pacifier. Mm -hmm.